So hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another Way of the Hunter video and oh my gosh, I can't even, I don't know even where to start with this video. Um, THQ Nordic just released some footage of the European animals on the Transylvania map and oh my gosh, I'm just so incredibly hyped. They are just the most gorgeous models, some of the most realistic models if not the most realistic models that I've seen for some of the European species ever. I am just absolutely in awe. I am so, so excited to get my hands on this game and go and explore this map. It looks visually amazing. Just look at the environments that we're seeing in the background here. Absolutely stunning. And the models are just top tier. Like, incredibly amazingly detailed. I am just so happy. They look so good. They look so, so good. I'm so happy. <laughs> like, I have been wanting so badly to see some of the European models and some of the uh, stuff from the European map. And, you know, we got a screenshot yesterday of the map and then today we get this. I'm just, I can't believe it. They just all look so well done. It's amazing. I'm so, so incredibly happy. This has put to, to rest a lot of the questions I had about, you know, the European map and what the models would look like. And also a lot of other questions that I had after seeing some of the Xbox achievements. Because this is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. This is by far going to be my favourite reserve out of the two reserves that are going to be on launch. I just can't. I'm just so, so incredibly excited for this. Just let me go and explore this reserve. I cannot wait. And I have to say, I think my favourite model out of all of the ones that we get to see in this trailer is the red stag we see at the very beginning here. He just looks amazing. That is just such a beautiful stag. And the, the hinds, the hinds look so good as well. I, you know, I, just, I can't. I'm so excited. And I know I'm rambling, but just awesome. The Mouflon models look beautiful. The coat detail on them is absolutely awesome. The Grey Wolf and the Red Fox, from what we see, look really pretty. The Chamois look really awesome, actually climbing up here in the higher parts of the map. Oh, that is just a scene I want to see, is to go hunting for big trophy chamois in that environment. The Eurasian badger looks really cool as well. It looks really, really well done. This this scene of just a fox trotting through here, it's just such a European scene. And like I said, the fallow deer is just so well done. The antlers are pretty much spot on. You know, they do look like real fallow antlers and the detail on the face is great. The roe deer look really, really good. The only thing I wonder is why the uh, the mouth is hanging open slightly, but it's not a massive criticism. The, overall, the model looks incredible. The boar look pretty much like wild boar, and that's always really cool. A lot of games don't do wild boar and pigs incredibly well. They're quite a hard model to actually do very well, so I was very, very pleased to actually see that, um, you know, and see them looking as good as they actually do. Uh, I just, everything about this map is amazing. Look at how big this, this reserve appears to be as well as we see through these camera shots. Just amazing. I can see myself going for, you know, really long hunts in this environment and just enjoying every minute of it. So, yeah, what do you guys think of all of these models? This is the first time we're seeing any of the European animal models other than the ones that we already saw over on the North America map for things like the Grey Wolf and the Red Fox. But, you know, seeing the European exclusives like the Red Deer, the Roe Deer and the Fallow Deer, what do you guys think? Because I think they're incredible. The face detail on these animals and the horn detail on, you know, the mouflon and the antler detail on the fallow deer and the red deer. The red deer looks like a European red deer. That's the kind of stag that we're used to. It's not the huge New Zealand style stag. It's got more realistic antlers for a European stag. And I'm just oh so incredibly excited to go and find the, like the biggest possible specimens for those i'm yeah it's i'm just blown away i had to uh make this video as quickly as possible because my gosh i just wanted to talk about this the face detail on that fallow and the, like the body detail as well 
it's just so well done the european hair looked pretty good as well and you know that's something that a lot of games struggle to do is nailing the small game but they look pretty good oh it's just so beautiful and that roe deer walking around there in that lighting it's just very similar to what i've seen in real life when i've been out with the camera looking for deer so it just gets me so so excited to actually go and hunt for these species in game i think it's going to be an awesome experience and like i said this put to rest a lot of questions that i had so very 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 happy to see this but that is going to be it for this video guys let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the trailer for the animals on the transylvania reserve for way of the hunter i will link their discord in the description and of course the original video so you guys can go and show it some love but that is going to be it for this video guys thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video thank you